So a lot of people are quite confused in terms of how to approach the OCP exam. They've heard it's very difficult and they're really confused and they don't really know exactly what to do, what to study, how to study, what to study on, right? In this video, I'll be pretty much breaking down the most logical path, it is in my eyes, in terms of how to prepare as fast and easy as possible for the OCP. The exam is a bit different. There is, there is going to be no buffer or flow, so I wouldn't waste time preparing for that. That's number one. Number two, how would you actually go about studying for this certification? So, well, to obtain a certification, you need to beat the exam, right? And there in the exam, there are three standalone machines that with Prevesc and the initial access, you can get 20 points each, right? So 60 points. And then the AD Active Directory section, there are three pieces, one DC, domain controller and two clients and you can total get 40 points right so 100 points total you need 70 out of 100 to pass so okay let's just be logical about this what things do we know for a fact will pretty much come or as close to a fact as we can get because obviously we can't reveal exactly what is in the exam right but we can certainly deduce and think of which attacks are very likely and almost pretty much guaranteed to be there right so in this particular exam, we start by having initial throttled because it's simulating an assumed breach scenario, right? So, okay, we know that then most likely there's going to be some type of active directory attacks, right? Whether it's possibly these thing or acid roasting or Kerberosian combination. Since we will have to move laterally, then obviously lateral movement, possibly some pivoting as well. And then we pretty much know as well that it will most likely be windows, right, in the AD. And so then Windows privilege escalation will be very, obviously, extremely useful. And obviously it could be that on the standalone machines as well, right? So privilege escalation, there's only so many of them that will be relevant. So that should be decently clear to study. And if you, if you need help, we have a cheat sheet basically saying all of the best rooms for pretty much all of the things that I'm talking about to just make it as simple as possible. Uh, you can find inside of for academy i'll just link it down below but yeah should be simple to find so those are the things we know what else do we know okay we know that since there will be some type of lateral movement there will be post exploitation as well right so learn about those attacks learn about ad attacks learn about privacy for windows and linux right um this is just a given and then also prepare for like some level of tunneling as well i would also do and yeah like that should pretty much be it for AD. Like there's only so many attacks that could be relevant for the OSP. So in my opinion, it's pretty simple to prepare for. Although I've seen so many people completely fuck up due to the AD, but I have never found it difficult myself and the people that I've taught has been having great success. So basically just follow the guides and uh, it will be massively useful. When it comes to the standalone, you know that obviously you need initial act, right? But this category is so big and broad. It could be a website, it could be some random TCP port, right? It could be um, it could be some random UDP port, even, right? There could be so many random things, and there's so many services and CMSs and uh, public exploits and chains that could happen here that this is more difficult to prepare for. But some general things that I would recommend is just go through this particular list right here. Lane Kusanagi, I'm probably butchering your name, so I'm sorry about that, but yeah. They've tried to do their best when it comes to creating the most OCP-like boxes and pretty much just link them. Uh, in my opinion, it's pretty good. So I would definitely just get a lot of volume in following this guide. And there's another one called NetSec Focus as well. You've probably heard of it, but yeah. Both of these are pretty good. Uh, I think this one is slightly better, but it doesn't really matter. They're both great. They're both way better than if you were to just randomly pick boxes and just uh, do whatever. And yeah, so pretty much just do these two cheat sheets right here when it comes to general volume training for initial access. Um, but yeah, pretty much for the rest. And if you also need help, if you want to join a lot of other people currently doing the OCP as well, and is currently inside of Academy. Basically, I just made a full, full, full course that gives you everything that I know about the OCP um in the most easiest form as humanly possible so you can ask me any questions that you encounter any struggles anything like that we have full video courses and you can try it for completely free you can try it if you don't like it that's perfectly fine but i think you will absolutely love it there's a lot of people inside there currently doing the ocp we also have a discord community where people are uh, taking the ocp practicing for the ocp just learning and creating friendships and pretty much just we all just want to see each other win right I only made that course to make it as simple as possible because 
I see so many people fail the exam. I see so many people, like I see people taking the exam like four, five, six, seven times. It's crazy. Like that amount of wasted money is just absurd to me. So again, try it for free. If you don't like it, perfectly fine. I think you will like it and really hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an awesome day.